The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. It is main event time from the All-State Arena in Chicago, Illinois. The conclusion to this doubleheader weekend. It is Monday Night Raw's Unforgiven. And it is also Fight Night. The Celtic Warrior, the Great White, the leader of the Rolling Brutes, Sheamus is in the Windy City. And certainly already been a successful evening for Butch and Ridge Holland of the Rolling Brutes, bringing home the WWE World Tag Team titles. Can Sheamus complete the trio? Can it be a banner evening in the history of the Brawling Brutes if Sheamus can leave Chicago tonight as the WWE Champion? There's a big fight feel as Sheamus has been waiting for this one-on-one -on -one altercation since he was put on the shelf by Seth Rollins in June. And of course the added treat that the WWE title is on the line. Sheamus looking to kill two birds with one stone here tonight in Chicago. But this man, the visionary, the revolutionary, previously Mr. Money in the Bank, but now the WWE Champion. And with that gold comes the term of the face of Monday Night Raw. Something that Seth Rollins wanted so desperately. He wanted the spotlight on him. He won Money in the Bank picked his moment correct and in front of Levi Stadium sold out capacity crowd four weeks ago he left with the W around his waist Seth Rollins may have burned a bridge back in June that he didn't plan on walking across again but everything always comes back around Rollins made the bed now he's got to sleep in it and he better be ready for this fired up Irishman in the Celtic warrior Sheamus a man who has held the WWE title the World Heavyweight Championship. He's held every single title there is to hold. A Grand Slam winner is Sheamus, but he ain't done yet. He wants another run at the top of the food chain. And Seth Rollins holds the keys to the kingdom. It is your main event here at Unforgiven in Chicago. Seth Rollins defends the WWE Championship against Sheamus. Let's send things down to the ring for your official pre-match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Sam! A look at the champion, a look at the challenger, and a look at the gold that is at stake. It is main event time. Big fight feel as it's been all night long. We've already seen one title change hands. We are hot off the heels of the most brutal steel cage in recent memories. But now we set our center focus as Sheamus looks not only for payback, but looks to wear that gold around his waist and have this be a banner evening for himself and the rest of the brawling brutes. The bell has sounded and we are underway here in Chicago. It'll be very interesting to see how this match is paced, but you know what? Throw that out the window. I think Sheamus is going to be fired up in the early going. Off the knee. Taking Rollins for a ride to said knee. The only thing Sheamus needs to be wary of with this kind of momentum is not being overzealous, not letting his anger and his hatred towards Seth Rollins blind the fact that he has an opportunity to become the WWE Champion tonight. He can't allow Rollins to capitalize on a mistake because that is where Seth Rollins can be most dangerous. Sheamus in control since the opening bell about 45 seconds ago. Obviously getting the one count. And obviously Sheamus knows he wasn't going to win the match up there, but the Celtic Warrior just trying to get in the psyche of the Visionary. And Sheamus off the middle buckle with the shoulder block. 
classic out of the arsenal of the great white. Now look at this. Look at the muscle. Celtic Warrior workout's been paying out. But only a one count there, but obviously Sheamus, again, not trying to get the victory just yet. Just trying to get in the psyche of Rollins and do some damage at the same time. Cannot wait to see what the voice is going to be like tomorrow at Raw. Green Bay, Wisconsin, get ready. Nonetheless, Rollins on the outside, taking a breather from this early onslaught by Sheamus. Referee holding him back, and this is a smart move by Sheamus. Don't let Rollins lure you to the outside of the ring. Could possibly be a mistake if Sheamus took it, but Sheamus not taking the bait. Rollins with a reversal that time. Sheamus has been controlling ever since the opening bell. And Rollins with some power of his own. A man not too far from not too far from Chicago in Davenport, Iowa. And Seth Rollins, who has had many of bottles across, battles across multiple promotions in this windy city. We're going to make some more history tonight with a victory over Sheamus. And a ripcord knee in the early going. These guys are throwing live rounds in the early moments of this matchup. And I expected nothing less with the animosity that has been across so many of the matches tonight. The tension was bound to boil over. Rollins and Sheamus, the headliner, with the most prestigious prize in the industry on the line. Sheamus has held the gold before. Wants to do it again. Opportunities like this don't come around every day. Sheamus needs to take the most advantage of it. Another rip coordinate. Rollins just going to the well with what worked that time. Now Rollins over the top rope. You see how he cradled up his body to get full impact on Sheamus. A maneuver that Seth Rollins' protege at one point, Nathan Frazier from NXT, who's been stealing the show in the Cruiserweight Classic, just advanced yesterday afternoon, has perfected. And Rollins taking the fight to the outside, off that dive, sending Sheamus right to the barricade. The outside, ringside, as you saw in the video package, is where the ante was up between Sheamus and Rollins all those months ago. Sheamus defeated Rollins back in April for a spot in a number one contender's match at Backlash. That did not sit well with Seth Rollins. Eventually, the bad blood led to a six-man tag at Vengeance in May, which we discussed earlier tonight, that led the Brawling Brutes earning a victory over Rollins in the Judgment Day. Of course, Rollins and Sheamus once again met in the first round of the King of the Ring in early June. And that is where Rollins not only secured a victory, but at least thought he got Sheamus out of his sights for good. And the Celtic Warriors back Every bad blood comes back around, and Rollins better not lose his marbles this early into the match. I mean, Sheamus will capitalize. One of the toughest superstars to ever grace the squared circle. A swing and a neck breaker by Sheamus. Sheamus not afraid to keep this classic wrestling if he needs to. Again, as we mentioned, Sheamus can't allow a blinded by frustration attitude to cause him to make a mistake that Rollins can capitalize on. And Sheamus is a veteran. He's been around the block. No stranger to big fight feels and really dangerous bad blood situations. Sheamus knows he needs to compose himself in this match. He can't look past that aspect for the Celtic Warrior. Rollins on the apron. Oh, wait a minute. Sheamus keeping it classic with a 10 beats of the Valdrum. And Chicago loving every 10 of it. Rollins taking a fall to the outside and his chest might be the color purple the time we leave Allstate Arena. Sheamus dropping the axe hammer, keeping the fight going. Trying to wear down the WWE Champion. It's reversed by Rollins. Oh man! Swing blade on the outside. You know, one thing that we really have not discussed about Sheamus over the last few weeks Although it's been nothing but victories for the Celtic Warrior. Obviously speaking volumes to his motivation to take out Rollins, but it was a curb stomp on the outside of the ring that put Sheamus on the shelf for months. Sheamus obviously wouldn't have come back if he wasn't 100%, but he's got to be wary, right? He's got to be cautious that Seth Rollins might try to do that again. And if so, Sheamus might not only lose this matchup, he may lose his career. Remains to be seen, but there's Rollins with a shot to the back of the neck. And to retain the WWE title. Not just yet as Sheamus has still got the heart pumping. Sheamus has been on a roll as has Seth Rollins. This is past Monday on a roll. Sheamus with a victory over Damian Priest. Sheamus has picked up wins against Sol Sokoa, Apollo Crews as well. And then remember, 
in a tag team matchup where Sheamus resurfaced on Monday Night Raw. Sheamus and Shinsuke Nakamura defeating Rollins and Solo on that night. Just a few short weeks before Rollins ended up cashing in the Money in the Bank briefcase, which propelled him on a sea of momentum as of late. Victories over Kofi Kingston and Butch on Monday Night Raw. Sheamus looking to see Rollins take a loss tonight. Very creative maneuver, showcasing the power of the Celtic Warrior. In the Windy City loving every second of it here tonight, but Sheamus misses off the knee. And there's a mistake that we were talking about. May have been more focused on trying to put the punishment on a man he absolutely despises rather than trying to go for the cover. Seth Rollins back in control, and you see Rollins going back to the well with what has worked for him throughout this match. Not getting pretty, just getting effective. And I think Rollins, as we witness how this matchup play out, is really trying to focus on the neck and the head of Sheamus, realizing those are the injuries that put him on the shelf. And if Rollins can reawaken those injuries per se, reopen those wounds per se, Rollins may have a golden ticket to win this match. Forearms. Knees, kicks. Rollins is all targeting on Sheamus. He could just be trying to soft him up for the curb stomp. Remains to be seen. Nonetheless, Sheamus is down. Rollins goes for the chop to nobody home. And once again, Sheamus muscling up. Rollins sets him out. Into the cover. New champion set to be crowned here in Chicago. No. And just imagine if we get to Green Bay, Wisconsin tomorrow night. And not only are the Brawling Brutes World Tag Team Champions, but Sheamus is the WWE Champion. White noise! And the ladder may be about to come true. Not just yet as Rollins kicks out again. How close was that? The white noise by Sheamus to no avail. Obviously damage done, but Sheamus was desperate for the three count there. Not gonna allow Rollins to swing his way back into this match. The Celtic Warriors on a mission, laser focused. And that doesn't mean Rollins is another reversal. Sheamus not leaving some room for opportunity in this matchup right now. Another reversal there. And this time Rollins takes advantage of it. Seth Rollins may be feeling a sense of urgency after that little file of fury from Sheamus. That white noise might have did some damage on Rollins as once again he takes things to the air and repeats our sentiments from a few minutes ago. Going back to the well with what has worked for him tonight. Not getting super creative, not trying to throw Sheamus off his game, just giving Sheamus what he expected and giving Sheamus the fight that Rollins used to defeat the Celtic Warrior back in June. Just because you know what's coming doesn't mean you can take advantage. Wait a minute, Rollins. Wait a minute. Rollins with a bro kick on Sheamus on the outside. Seth Rollins using Sheamus' own move against him on the outskirts of the squared circle. The backbreaker and bro kick combination. Rollins, we just said a moment ago, not trying to necessarily get too creative against Sheamus, but that's certainly a way to throw the challenger off his game is use his own offense against him. Offense becoming defense for Seth Rollins in that moment. And Sheamus is hurt. Oh no. And Rollins is going for the kill. Curb stop. And that's going to do it. Off the bro kick and the curb stomp. No, Sheamus is alive. Sheamus is still fighting. We said it's fight night for a reason. Oh, and Rollins is coming unglued right now. Rollins unhinged. Hit the bro kick. Hit the stomp to no avail. Sheamus is obviously hurt. Obviously not 100% at this point in the match. But Seth Rollins losing his marbles a little bit after not getting the three count, which Sheamus looks to take advantage of. We may be in Chicago, but there's a slam all the way from Alabama. Now Rollins back up to his feet. Oh man, are we about to start seeing the pendulum's momentum swing back and forth as Sheamus may be seeking some desperate maneuvers in this match. Rollins now, oh, face first off the canvas. Oh, that is not, oh, wait a minute. Oh, Sheamus has been busted wide open, folks. After the bare knuckles, the kicks, the stomp. Sheamus's forehead becoming soft tissue to open up, and the blood is now trickling from the Irishman. And that is gonna be a target that the WWE Champion looks to focus on. That is not going to be good for Sheamus. He is really pouring out right now. 
Wait a minute. Celtic Warrior, we said sense of urgency a moment ago. The smell of his own blood might have woke him up a little bit. Rollins on the top. What has Sheamus got in mind here? Looking to send Rollins for another ride. Oh, man. Man, look at the forehead of Sheamus. The Warrior. Sporting battle wounds. And Chicago is coming unglued for the champion and the challenger. Up on the shoulders, victory roll. Sheamus starting to come alive, but does he have it in him to win the WWE Championship tonight in Chicago, Illinois? Rollins on top again. What has Sheamus got in mind? Oh, wait a minute. Could be looking for a super. Victory roll from the middle buckle. That's going to do it. Sheamus has won matches in the past with that maneuver, but it's not going to pay him dividends tonight. Close call. Almost the book being closed on Seth Rollins' WWE title reign, but Sheamus is still one second away from championship glory. Meanwhile, he's at ringside. And Sheamus better be careful. Clearing off the announce table, the Celtic Warrior realizes that the ante must be up the same way Rollins did back in June. Sheamus has not forgotten. It was right here at ringside where the curb stomp that put Sheamus on the shelf took place. An exposed announce table could mean disaster for the WWE Champion if he does not get back into this match. Sheamus got to keep his eye on the count. Humphrey's at a count of three, count of four. Obviously, Sheamus can't win the title via count out tonight. Off the apron with a knee, and he stuck it to Rollins. That'll certainly scramble the eggs of the WWE Champion. Smart by Sheamus to break the count right there. He knows he can't win the title via count out. Rollins can retain. Only benefits Rollins really being on the outside from a result perspective. Speaking of Rollins, off the knee, heads to the top. Going for a shot, but Sheamus gets out of the way. Celtic Warrior avoids disaster. And up takes the champion off his feet with the STO. And Sheamus is feeling it. The Windy City still fired up as they've been all night long here at Unforgiven and still pouring their love for the Celtic Warrior. Chicago, Illinois very well may be brawling Brutes territory. Butch and Ridge Holland succeeded an hour ago here at Unforgiven. Sheamus looking to have the same luck against a tough challenger in the Revolutionary. And raking up these big time maneuvers on Seth. There's a counter, much needed by the WWE Champion. Rollins again, face plants Sheamus this time. Sheamus might have hit every turnbuckle on the way down. Oh, and again, Seth Rollins looking to go back to the well with what has worked. Third time, three-peat by Rollins with the dive over the top. Cradles himself up, an explosion. Oh, wait a minute, Sheamus with a counter at ringside. And this is, here. this is where superstars are made, ladies and gentlemen, in the deep rounds, in championship rounds, when the challenger and champion are so fatigued yet still fighting. You want to be the man on Monday Night Raw? You got to outlast these desperate moments. Sheamus is showcasing his battle wounds. And now Sheamus is heading to an uncharacteristic position on the top rope to the outside with a shoulder block on the champion. Throwing caution in the wind and the means of success. Sheamus is fired up. He has got the WWE Champion down and the Champion is hurt. And Sheamus could be near a victory if he can get this thing back inside the ring and score a three. three. Referee at a count of three right now. Sheamus once again heading back inside the ring. Looking to break the count right there. Again, Sheamus cannot win the title via count out. No special stipulations on this match tonight with Rollins. Good old school classic championship rules. Now Sheamus dropping the axe hammer. Rollins, no idea where he was right there. Sheamus capitalized on the MIA whereabouts of the champion. Now sends him back inside the squared circle. Sheamus smells blood in the water, and it might not be his own. He could be looking to seek and destroy and win the WWE title. Nice axe hammer, wait a minute. Counter by Rollins, and what strength by the champion. Big time counter by the visionary. 
Both men dazed, but Sheamus the first to crack. Rollins is showing signs of life, but it may not be enough. Sheamus may be hitting on all different cylinders right now. Running power slam to win the title. No, Rollins kicks out again. What a main event clash here tonight at the All-State Arena in Chicago. Sheamus, the challenger. Seth Rollins, the champion. The fight continues. Once again, Sheamus on the outside. And remember, on the bottom right of your screen, cleared off the announce table a few moments ago. Paying homage to Cactus Jack with the cactus elbow off the apron. Sheamus might have his sights set on the announce table. Why else bring Rollins back to the outside where he can't win the match just yet? Well, remains to be seen, but Rollins trying to turn the tides. Knee right to the injured rib cage. Oh, man! Right into the steel steps. Seth Rollins trying to get brutal in this championship match. Realizing it must be a must to keep down Sheamus. He's just trying to get his wits about himself on the outside, but now Rollins dropping the Celtic Warrior of the DDT. Man, we are witnessing a classic battle of good and evil. A classic battle of a warrior versus a revolutionary. The main event, the lights are on bright. Go big or go home. Titles on the line. Fight continues on the outside. We have seen a lot of brawling between Rollins and Sheamus the last few minutes. Only going inside really to break the count. And they continue the fight on the outskirts. And Rollins trying to open up the already open wound of Sheamus. Fatigue's got to be setting in. Maybe even a little bit earlier than it would for the Celtic Warrior. Thanks to that target on his head. We saw how it played a factor in Matt Riddle's momentum in his steel cage moments ago. Sheamus feeling the same detriment. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Rollins has got his eyes on the announce table that Sheamus cleared off, and it may come back to haunt the Celtic Warrior. This is not good for the challenger. Rollins with a power bomb through the announce table. Holy hell. Seth Rollins is godsend focused on eliminating Sheamus from in-ring competition tonight. Right through the table that Sheamus exposed. And Sheamus is hurt. The Celtic Warrior is wounded. The number one contender is down. And Rollins continuing the onslaught at ringside. Referee at a count of six. Rollins gonna send Sheamus inside the squared circle. Sheamus has gotta to try to wake up. Because if not, Rollins is gonna put him to sleep for good. Off the top. Vintage frog splash by the visionary. And he's not going for the cover. Rollins wants to put the final nail in the coffin. A second curb stop to Sheamus. A wounded warrior. Falls to the visionary in the main event. Wow, what a matchup. A physical altercation that could have went either way between Sheamus and Seth Rollins. But in the end, the open wound of Sheamus did not pay him dividends. The exposed table coming back to haunt him. And not one but two curb stomps lead Seth Rollins to the ultimate victory here tonight at Unforgiven. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us all weekend long, and good night from Chicago, Illinois. An amazing, unforgiven event, which leaves you with still the WWE Champion, the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth Freakin' Rollins! On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a rock.